Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are continuing with our organic reaction series and today we'll be looking at substitution reactions. Now, a substitution reaction, the, the name says it that when we have we play when we're playing soccer and we have a substitution, one player goes in and one goes out. So if you look at this example here, we see that here's our OH molecule, is the one player, so to say, and here's BR as our other player. And what happens is the BR will go in and our OH will go out. So we have the BR going in and we get the two carbons joining with BR and the OH goes out and joins with the H to form H2O. So this is a substitution reaction. It is easy to identify a substitution reaction in that we have single bonds as reactants and we have single bonds as products. So there's no change from single to double bonds. But if we looked at, for example, in elimination reactions, the single bond became double bond because certain uh, elements or atoms were taken out. And if you look at uh, the addition reactions that we have, we see that in the addition reactions, we have double bonds becoming single bonds. So that is the easy way to identify addition reaction from elimination reaction to substitution reaction. In the addition reaction, double bonds become single bonds. In the elimination, in the elimination reaction, we see that uh, single bonds become double bonds. And in our substitution reaction, we see that the single bonds remain as single bonds. But we must just be careful, and I, I don't learn it like that. Rather, look at each of these compounds and see, identify for yourself uh, by, from first principles. So in this case here, we see that the OH goes out and the BR comes in. So it's a fair swap. So it's called a substitution reaction. Now, the reason that I put these two here next to each other, we see that in the second reaction, we also have HBR. And again, we see that the OH goes out and the BR goes in. So there's a fair swap between the, the OH and the BR. So it's also a substitution reaction. The difference between these two is that this is a primary alcohol. This here, the first reactant here is a primary alcohol. And if you look at the second one, it's called a tertiary alcohol. Now, while I'm writing that down, you can look at the two and compare it and see why it's called a tertiary alcohol. And you will see it that the reason it is called a tertiary alcohol is because this carbon is attached to, to three. If you look at this carbon, it's called a tertiary alcohol because it's attached to three other carbons. So it's called a tertiary alcohol. Whereas, yeah, this carbon is only attached to one carbon. That's why it's called a primary alcohol. And we see that we have the same products that are forming. Another aspect is to look at uh, the reaction conditions for primary and secondary alcohol reactions. So here we have it. The, what needs to be done is that the primary or secondary alcohol, um, we have to treat the alcohol with concentrated sulfuric acid and NABR. And what happens is the NABR will react with the H2SO4 to form HBR. And that HBR will react with the alcohol to form your bromoalkane, uh, as we see in this example above us, where we see our alcohol, ethanol, plus HBR will become um, a bromoethane plus water. So that is another important aspect. Another example of um, a substitution reaction can be seen in this case where we got methane and we reacted with chlorine in a, and the reaction condition is that it must be in the presence of light. And in this case, we see that what happens, a straightforward substitution takes place where one chlorine goes out and one hydrogen goes in and we get chloroethane, uh, methane that's formed. And here I've put it in condensed formula. We see that chloromethane will react with more chlorine if it is allowed to do so and another chlorine will be substituted. So two chlorines will be in and two hydrogens will be out. And if we leave it longer, we see that more chlorine will be substituted where another hydrogen will move out and then we get um, chloroform that is formed. CH, uh, Cl3 is chloroform and uh, we know that chloroform is used as um, 
uh, to, to knock somebody out as an anesthetic type of a thing. And then furthermore, we see that if more chlorine is added in the presence of right, we get CCL4, which we know is called chloromethane or carbon tetrachloride. And one of the uses of carbon tetra tetrachloride is in the dry cleaning industry. Uh, just one more important point to conclude the session is that I've put two react reactions in front of us. And the thing is, we have to look at these two and see that what is the difference. Here we have uh, a haloalkane reacting with NaOH, and here we have a haloalkane reacting with NaOH. But in this example here, we have reaction conditions where we have water and heat, and we see that we have an alcohol that's formed, an NABR. And in the second example, we see that we have ethanol added and we have ethene that's formed, NABR and H2O. So what is the difference between these two and what are the important points to remember when looking at these two? If you look at this first example here in front of us, this is a substitution reaction. If you look here, this has uh, single bonds and we still end up with single bonds on this side. So this is a substitution reaction. It's a substitution reaction. And uh, the important point here is that the reaction conditions are important. And the reaction conditions that we have here is that we must have dilute base. So that's why we have the water that's added to the reaction. So we have a dilute base. And we also have uh, mild heat, that is uh, the reaction conditions for this um, substitution reaction to take place. Substitution reaction to take place. So these are important react uh, reaction factors. So that if we have the right um, reaction conditions, we have a substitution reaction where we have dilute NaOH and mild heat and we see that the alcohol is formed. Now in the second case, we see that in this case here, what happens is we have concentrated uh, base, NaOH, and we add strong heat. And in this case, we see that we don't get uh, a substitution reaction, but we see that a single bond becomes a double bond. And the single bond becomes a double bond. So that means that this is an elimination reaction. So the, it is important to make sure we identify which is a substitution reaction and an, and an elimination reaction uh, in, in this case where the reaction conditions will make the difference for us. This is a, 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 a beautiful example to show you that depending on the reaction conditions, we can have a halo alkane added to a base, in one case undergoing substitution, and in another case undergoing elimination, depending on what the reaction conditions are. So I want you to take careful note of these two reactions to see that depending on what the reaction conditions we have, we can have different types of products that can be formed. So that's where we will stop today. Thank you very much.